tell Andrew to do that. The shepherd. Oh, did you start? Yes. Oh, shoot. Okay. Shepherds the sheep. Yes? Let's talk about that. Wow. No warning? No catering during start? I told you. No, you didn't. I didn't? No. In my mind, it did. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday, Wednesday. as Phil Sutton would say. Um, so, the shepherd. The really cool thing about the Bible, well, there's tons of cool things, but anyway, the really cool thing about the Bible is they always, God always has these stories that represent all cultures, like beyond, like beyond just one culture. Mm. Like, everybody knows what a shepherd is. Everybody knows what a sheep is. Everybody knows what bread is and, and grapes. Everybody knows what water is. And he uses these symbols um, that are universal. It's, I just think that's the coolest thing. Like, he didn't say, well, take a peach and do that, you know. He did talk about figs. He did talk about figs, and everybody can get figs, but only certain places can get certain foods. Um, everybody can grow figs. So, the really cool thing, that's one cool thing. And then olive oil, you know, oil you can find anywhere. You can actually make it yourself. And so, he, he gives these pictures and they're universal, and we know what the, he's talking about. So, uh, in John chapter 10, verse 11. Now, John is very detailed. And it's cool that John doesn't start with the birth of Christ. He starts with the Word. And he goes on and says, the Word was in the beginning, the Word was God, and the Word came down. And he does the whole gospel story, really, just by that one word. <laughs> word, word. Oh, wow. And in the Greek, it's pointing to Jesus. Jesus was there in the creation of the world. And so John is very detailed in those things that Jesus is God. And he goes through many, many stories and firsthand accounts of that Jesus is God. And that's his main purpose. And actually, I love at the end of the book of John, he says, if I wrote everything down, no, no all the books in the world couldn't, uh, hold couldn't handle or hold that. So we're getting the best of the best, really. Uh, the Holy Spirit through John. And so John chapter 10 says, uh, he, he, John heard this from Jesus. This is Jesus talking, not John, okay? But Jesus is talking. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Mm. Now, if you were a shepherd at that time, you, you typically took other people's sheep and um, watched them for them. So they can go to the temple, they can go and work, they can go all, all kinds of places. So it was shepherd sitting, uh, I mean, uh-huh. sheep sitting. Like so the shepherd would, the sheep would know the voice of the shepherd. Uh, the sheep would be rallied together, and the shepherd would put himself in between uh, the danger and the sheep. Because if he lost the sheep, he lost his job, and then everybody would be upset. So he would put himself in the middle. If there was a wolf, if there was a danger of a human coming to kill him or steal him, he would put himself in that position. Because it was better to die for the sheep than it was to leave them alone and get fired and have a bad reputation and, and, and you would kicked out of the, the culture and the, and the village. So here's Jesus saying the same thing. Look, I'm going to put myself between sin and death in you. And he's going to die for that. And then God resurrected him and he said, you know, I'm sitting at the right hand of God now. So it's just a really cool picture how, how the Bible just gets this imagery that we can understand through all all culture. And so he's the good shepherd, and he laid down his life for us. And so we should, in turn, lay down our lives for Jesus, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally, because our whole body needs to be a disciple of Christ, not just on Sundays, quote-unquote. That we're a disciple, not just a churchgoer, but a disciple of Jesus. And so if he laid down his life, We need to lay down our life and take up our cross. So my challenge for you today, are you following the Good Shepherd? Are you doing what he did? I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Wednesday. Oh, uh, Gold Peak Tea, not a sponsor. All right. Love you. Bye. Oh,